Welcome back to another episode of Coffee with the President. Today I'm joined by Professor Bill Anaskovich, the chair of the Tagliatella School of Business and Leadership. Bill, welcome. It's Thanks, good to be President with you. Camille. It's good to be with you. We're going to talk about one of our new, in fact, our newest uh, graduate program offering the Masters in Public Administration. And so excited to hear more and learn more about the program. We're off to a, a flying start. 18 students enrolled for the first mod, and, and uh, so far it's been uh, really well received. Wonderful. So what was the impetus, the inspiration for bringing this program to market? Well, I think there's several factors that led us to, to look at this and then to ultimately implement it. First, there was a demand on the part of students who were currently in our both graduate programs and undergraduate programs for a graduate degree that was tailored to the government and nonprofit sector. There are over 30,000 nonprofits right. in Connecticut, right. many of them right here in New Haven County. So we knew we could build and have built a program that capitalizes on the potential for those partnerships. Your presidency has done a lot to bring us into the community in a more aggressive way, and that has led people to say, you know, let's find different ways to, mm -hmm. to partner, and the MPA is going to be one of those places. And then, of course, finally, you can't look at government and nonprofit sectors without knowing that our communities could use uh, a generation of students who were equipped to meet the demands of public policy in an ethical and a responsible way. And I think our Dominican tradition positions us to do that kind of education really well mm -hmm. and differently than anyone else is yeah. doing it right now. Well, when I, when I think about this program, the focus of the program aligns so well with our values at Albertus Magnus College. And I think about what is it that we aspire for our students. It's for them to be engaged civically, to become leaders, right. but leaders with a conscience, right? And, and to serve in their communities. For the most part, we focus on this idea of implementing public policy. Mm -hmm. We talk about doing things as opposed to planning them. We talk about implementing versus researching. We talk about how to manage people when a program or a policy that's been perhaps passed as part of a law or, or developed as part of a grant at the federal state level. How do you make that real on the ground? How do you make sure that public policy is implemented in a responsible way that promotes the common good? And if you look at the places where that hasn't happened, look at Flint, Michigan and the water disaster, and right. you look at examples of when public policy fails, you understand the demand mm -hmm. for a value-based approach right. to how we make programs work for people. And that people focus is the essence of how we're going to teach public administration at, at Alberta. I'd like you to, to, to flesh out a little bit more in detail for me this, this flex format that, that our faculty have come up with and, and, and just how appealing that is to students who would consider the MPA program, for example. It's remarkable how many students come to us and say, I'm here because of Flex. The idea is that if you want to be a fully online or what we call distance learning student, you can do that. You can also be what we call a blended student, which okay. is a student who participates on grounds one time a week during the eight-week mod, and then one class session a week is an online assignment, much like the distance learning students have. And so that allows you to really sort of build this into your work life and your home life in an effective way. It's very convenient and the most important convenience is you can move between distance learning and right. blended. So right. you, you don't have to commit to one format or the other. That flexibility is just so important for, for our students pursuing graduate degrees. Bill, it's been a pleasure. Good Thank to be you. with you again today. Nice to be here. Uh, always good to see yes. you and, and look forward to seeing this program grow in the years ahead. This wraps up another episode of Coffee with the President. Look forward to being with you again soon. Thank you.